All right, so we're at the schoolyard. Um, there are no dumbass kids over here trying to crawl on the stuff. However, we have the baseball game. So uh, I'm trying to let her kind of chill out and get used to it. Where are you going, girl? Come here. Come on. All right. So. <laughs> Hold on, let's do this. Um, so ideally, uh, you can get the dog working, right? So a lot, a lot of. I'm going to try to remember some of the stuff I talked about yesterday because I think I did good, right? Now the problem with me and my brain is once I say it, it's kind of out of my brain, right? <laughs> So, but I had some good stuff yesterday. <clears throat> so, working helps them build confidence, right? So, the way I was taught is I, I can use leash pressure to teach these dogs stuff. Um, but I like food. And now, I don't know if being a fearful, if leash pressure would actually help. I, I know leash pressure helps overexcited dogs when you're trying to work because it helps calm them down um, but working is is confidence building and then just doing weird stuff right so we have this playground that we're going to end up here in a few minutes at least try to walk up this ramp um i know she's good with stairs so i might can get her to do that too i just got to see how right with the surface now it's another one that in order to help it so as she's kind of going side to side i'm just not letting her go farther out um uh, here comes somebody with a little dog let's see how well trained this guy is oh look he's pooping uh Uh, what was I gonna say? But I think I think pushing them is good. So here's one I pointed out yesterday. What she does is she'll freeze, right? And you can see her tails. That's the obvious thing. But she gets uh, she gets muscle shivers too, right? So that's one thing I was talking about yesterday. Is sometimes just sitting and letting them process really helps them. And sometimes getting a little movement going really helps them. Hi, girl. Can you get a little movement? Do, 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 do. Right? Because I think sometimes they get in their head about stuff that's going on. And then if you're moving, they're focused on moving and doing stuff with you, right? Um, that's a good girl. So uh, another thing I talked about yesterday is you see how I did a sharp turn there? You'll see when I do heel drills with the guys that are energetic and you're trying to work on pulling, I'll do it really sharp and fast and kind of stomp my foot so they know that I'm turning. With her, all the movements are just slow and deliberate, right? So I walked her out here on her. Oh, that was the other thing. I started doing, um, getting her on the collar. I should have brought the slip lead so I could, well, that's no big deal. We're working on getting on the car. It ain't no need to have that. But you can, and, and I've got two leashes anyways. You put one on, take one off, put one on, take one off. Because all the times of reaching up to her, come on, girl. Good job. All the times reaching up towards her, especially forward to her, it kind of backs away, right? Like here, when I put the long line on, even though I was going under like this and I was sitting down, it was directly at her, right? So she did the kind of, she went into a submissive down, a scared down, whatever you want to call it. Good girl. All right. You won't get away from all them rowdy ass kids, huh? They're not that rowdy. 
Come on, girl. They're not that rowdy. All right. So I was hoping to get her kind of a little bit chilled out. Okay. We'll take a break. Um, see that right there? I'm, I'm sure you guys could hear it when they kind of yelled out earlier. She started walking off and away. So she's still, her tail's down and kind of to the side. She's got a little, her ears flapping backwards and forwards. Yawns. She needs to be moving, right? So let's see right here. Let's see if we can go ahead and go up and do this thing. Get her focused on working. See if this helps. Um, oh, and I was talking about like food deprivation, right? So I was thinking about, hi girl, you're okay. About feeding her even less. I'm only giving her about half a portion. Who's that? That's a good girl. You want to try to walk on this weird shit? Hmm? It's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> She's like, fuck that dude. I want to get out of here. She came out uh, from the crate real easy this morning. She had a poop, but she came out right now really easy too. Right? So I think that's another thing I was talking about is there's going to be stuff that gets better, right? And you'll see improvement and improvement, and then something will happen, and then you're going to go backwards, right? So the key is to have more forwards than backwards, and hopefully the backwards. So here's another one. So this is a pinch point thing right here. This is something that's pretty big for. Um, it's we've been getting through all these doorways. And then as soon as we kind of get through, she'll kind of speed up. And before she was speeding up and going off to hide. Now she's speeding up and kind of stopping and turning sideways. So these are things that are improvements, right? Come on. Come on, you're okay. And that's another one. Uh, I saw some lady talking about a. She's like, everybody says not to talk. Come on, girl. Come on. So I'm going to add a little pressure. I want her to kind of give in there. I'll take it. So I'm going to take the pressure off. So uh, this lady's like, they say not to talk to your dog when they're scared, but I do. And so first off, the dog that she had was not scared. The dog that she had was probably a six to seven, eight month old, uh, what do they call English retrievers, white golden retrievers. Um, so the reason I don't want to go back right now is I'd have to walk by her and I want her. I want to see if she'll chill out a little bit. I don't want her to get stuck in this, but I want to see if she'll chill out a little bit before I put more pressure on her by going over to her. <clears throat> right? So this is a weird one because it's a long pinch point. Uh, let's see. Maybe if I go on that red one over there because it's stairs. She does good with the stairs. Right? So she picked her head up. I'm, I'm cool with that. So now let's let's get off of here, right? And we can relieve the pressure. We'll come over here. We'll let her sniff. Um, so, so anyways, the pinch point, usually it's just a doorway, right? This is a long one. I didn't think about this until we started doing it, right? So, <clears throat> here I'm going to walk over here. And let's just go walk around it. Let's just go walk. Maybe I should have done more walk around it first, too. Right? Sometimes you do that, you get, well, here's some stuff we can walk through. Right? Little pinch points that go nowhere. There's a little thing. It's a wider pinch point, but there's a bunch of crap back here. 
Man, I wish I would have been able to get good angles with the thing that you put on your head with your phone. And then uh, I got one for on your chest too. But you just can't get any good camera angles. Right? So what I was going to do here is walk up. I was hoping to get her body on and then let her back out. Or I would turn. I wasn't planning on walking all the way up. We did get to get a couple feet on. It's a weird surface. It's a uh, maybe plastic coated metal right but it's got little holes all in it come on girl come on i'm gonna let her just kind of think about it here this time i want her to at least get her feet on it though Ideally, she'll step onto it, and that's all we need. So, when I put the pressure before, let's see if some uh, movement helps her. Come on, girl. Come on. Now, let's get a little pressure. Let's just get her feet on it and take the pressure off. And we'll just stand here. Right? So, now she's not got her head on the ground, right? So to me, that's an improvement, right? The first time she had she had her head down on her feet, right? I mean, she's still stiff. She's but her head's up, right? She's looking. She's breathing fairly normal. She's got the uh, her muscles a little twitch when she's nervous. Let's see if I sit down. Let's see if that does anything. So I want to throw her a hot dog too. I know she's not going to take it. I mean, she didn't take it yesterday. Hey, where's the other hot dog? Oh, there it is. Hi, girl. It's noisy, right? Oh, my God. What are you doing to the dog? Look at that hot dog. Throwing the hot dog to you freaked you out? It went down on your belly. Or is it me sitting down like this? Right, so sometimes sitting down means you're kind of unsure too. Right, come on girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Can we get your back feet? Let's not push it. Right, I'll take that. She came, she came up on her own. I'll eat this. She came up on her own, so we're gonna take the pressure off and go somewhere else. Hey, no big deal. Right? If you never push them on the stuff and through stuff, they're never going to get over it, right? <clears throat> okay, I got this weird pinch point thing right here. Come on, girl. What? Come on. You're okay. So back to the lady saying, come on. Come on. Saying she talks to her fearful dog. First off, it wasn't a fearful dog. It was a puppy that a noise happened and it backed up and it almost immediately went back forward. So it's like, it wasn't shy. It's just ridiculous. But the puppy's tail was up. He had his open mouth. He's like, and his body was full uh, standing up normal, right? So let's go through this pinch point right here. All right, we got all kinds of little pinch points that are weird. Like back there, there's this little stuff that kind of goes like this, right? There's, it's wider, but there's stuff that goes like this. And that's where we went to, where she slowed down. But uh, what this lady didn't say is the tone with which she was talking to him, right? So she wasn't all, oh, come on, baby, you're going to be okay. Did you like that voice? Because that's what people do. They think it's a consoling voice, but a lot of times with actual fearful dogs, when you're doing that, it's not good. I'll usually try to do a saucer voice or what I tend to call a girly voice. Um, just to see. And if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, then I stop doing it. Want a hot dog? No interest at all, huh?
and look, there's a lot of people who be, well, if they're not taking food, why are you making them do it? Because you got to get it over it, dude. You can, you can force dogs to do stuff without being an asshole. You know what I mean? Let me see. Ready? Come on. Come on, girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. So I'm going to give her a second. And then not stick in it. Come on, girl. Come on. Get a little motion. Let's do a little bit of pressure. We've got our back feet on. Pressure is going to come off. It's okay. All right. Oh my God, Larry, you're doing it too fast. You're pushing the dog over the edge. No, we're not. Now, I, I know people and I have watched people that they're like, man, just make the dog go up there and get over it. I don't like that move. I have seen it work and be just fine. Probably more often than I've seen it, seen people do it and it makes a dog freak out even more. Right? And that's what a lot, a lot of these people, they'll, they, they see the one or two times and they stay on that, right? Like you can get into tools, e-collars and prong collars, right? Are there dogs that get screwed up by them? Sure. But what about the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dogs that have been helped by them? Are you just going to deny that? This shit don't make sense to me. So, a lot. I don't want to sit here too long. It's okay. I'll take. It. I'll take her getting off. She chose to get up. She wants to go away. We can go away. Nothing to do. Um, now was she in a bad headspace when she when we did it? I don't know. She's probably in a bad headspace. Anyways, come on, girl. Come on. Right. So that's that's the other thing too. Is if they want to back out. Or are they just tired of laying there? Or is it because they're still scared of it? You don't want to. You don't want to back off if they're still in the. This thing's freaking me out, right? You want to wait till they're kind of calmed down. So here's a bunch of little poles over here too. Um, I think that might be much. One, two. Maybe if I go in between this. Here, let's go into the slide. It's not that scary. Well, I guess it kind of is. Come on, girl. It's wider. It's just a thing going over the head. Uh oh. Let me see if I can fit under there. Oh, my old, my old butt bending down. Let's see if we, let's see how far we can walk up on this thing. Let's see how it goes. All right. And then the other way you can push them too much is by doing the same thing too much, right? Like, we had a pretty good one. Should I stop there? Ready? Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. And maybe I should turn this way. Come on, girl. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. One more step. There's no pressure on it. She just got her head uh, ducked down. She's sniffing around. Let's get out of here. Okay. Let's go this way. Good job. Right? So she gave me, she started to kind of go down. I got her up another step. Then she started sniffing around on it, right? So I might have could have pushed forward more there. But I'm going to give her a break, and we're going to go walk around, and we're going to do the same damn thing. I'm going to try to get her, I don't know, two body lengths up by the end of the day. And uh, so let's, let's take this and let me show you this other stuff that we were walking through. All right, in case you can't see. All right. So she just now went under. Uh, right. So see right there was the first one where I had to really encourage her through. And then we just went through right there, right? So all this stuff, and then under the slide, and then under that one. 
it's kind of wider than a pinch point, but there's stuff going over your head. And uh, anytime, uh, who told me that? I don't know, somebody told me a long time ago. You get them sticking their head in stuff and going through tunnels and stuff like that. It starts building because they go through it and then it's no big deal. And, and it helps them build confidence, right? So I'm going to come over here. Come here, girl. Come on. She didn't want to go through that pinch point. That's the big old wide one. So let's go. Let's go let you have some free walk. What you think? Here you go. You're okay. You're okay. No biggie. All right, so when you talk to them, I should have done that a little bit slower. That's no big deal. She's already laying down. Um, when you're talking to them, it's the energy with which you talk to them, right? You want to be real neutral. If they're down here, you want to be neutral so they come up to that. Once they get neutral, then once they get more neutral, then you can go into your encouraging voice and start making it a more happy thing. A lot of times when you use your happy voice or what, you know, they just see it as you're being a weirdo and it freaks them out. Right? Again, depending on the level of where they're freaked out at, right? Oh, good girl. Took a little step towards me. I need to look at her back feet. That one, why does that one look fucked up? I got a shit ton of stuff out of there. All right, let's go, let's go free walk around a little bit. Um, we're going to go that way, away from the noise. 